friends? It's me, Professor Moptop. Welcome to another thrilling week here at the Patreon video update. This week you're going to get some very, very cool audio in your WeTransfer files. I'm going to send you four hunks of a lot of information and a lot of cool uh, bits of uh, performances from the 1969 Let It Be Slash Get Back Sessions. Uh, the Get Back song is what we're going to be talking about in great detail. Ultimately, Get Back would be the first single of 1969, which was the first thing that the Beatles released since the White Album. Back then, that's a long time to go in between releases, even when you're as big as the Beatles. It was about four or five months, and that's kind of a long time. The song was written in the studio. Paul had some ideas, and he kind of worked with them, and they sort of improvised them. Enoch Powell was a political figure in England, and he gave this Rivers of Blood speech. Paul, uh, kind of joked about Enoch Powell, and he tried to write a song discussing some of the news events, which included the guy Harold Wilson, another political figure in England. He had replied to that, and Paul wrote and sang about that. As it developed a little bit, a couple of new characters were created. Joe and Teresa were a couple of them. As they improvised this song, they also improvised another song, which was about the Commonwealth. You'll hear Professor Moptop explain the political uh, connections to the Commonwealth and Enoch Powell and the Beatles. The more he sang about Enoch Powell, the more he developed this uh, tale of Get Back. He sung about a guy named Ted Keith, yet another political figure in England. At one point, there's a long, extended jam of a song that could be prominently called, uh, that would be likely called Get Off. It's similar to Dig It, where they're just sort of playing and strumming and shouting out random phrases and then singing Get Off. They do this for a long time. You get to hear a real short clip of that. There's um, a lot of audio from the Let It Be sessions. Not all of it is great. Some of it is just downright horrible. I have sifted through it and found some highlights for you, so you get to hear that. After Paul McCartney had what he thought was the tune that would eventually become Get Back, he worked on the song at home and recorded and uh, wrote down some actual lyrics for the song. This is when it became Get Back. In the middle of the January 69 sessions, George was frustrated and aggravated and he got up and quit. He was gone for about a week or so. While he was away, they kept working on Get Back. Um, there's a couple of long jams, a couple of really interesting ones. One is Paul, John, Ringo, and Yoko just after George quit the band and they're all really frustrated and you can hear them really playing intensely and loud. All the while, Yoko is screaming and wailing and being Yoko. It's very, very interesting. As they kept working on Get Back, there wasn't another guitar player at the time, so John wound up playing the uh, solo in the song. He never stopped playing the solo, even after George returned. When they perform it on the rooftop of uh, Apple Studios, we again hear John playing the solo. There's another cool hunk of audio where early in the morning, they rehearsed a little bit, then they broke for lunch. When they came back, John, Yoko, and Paul, as a threesome, with Paul on drums, recorded a little jam. And again, this is Yoko screaming and wailing while John and Paul were playing really intensely. These are really, really cool hunks of audio to hear. Later in that day, George and Ringo came back after their lunch, and with them, they brought Billy Preston, who was a fantastic keyboard player. They had known him from uh, the early 60s, from Hamburg, Germany. He had played with Little Richard's band. He had played with Ray Charles' band. And he certainly hit it off with the Beatles. He played on some of the Get Back sessions, and he really helped uh, everyone get along. As George Harrison says, when there's company around, not everyone is as bitchy as they normally would. When the single finally came out, Billy Preston was credited on the 45. It's the Beatles with Billy Preston. That was a huge boost to Billy Preston's morale. And of course, as I said, they performed it on the rooftop, and we hear it on the Let It Be album as well. So you're going to get Four nice chunks of audio all about the song Get Back. There's a lot of interesting stuff to sift through. I have sifted through it, and I'm going to send it along to you. Thank you so much. As always, I am Professor Moptop.